Good morning, Pioneers. Today is Friday, October 8th, 2021. It's time for the news in the morning with your WPKN news team. I'm Natalie Sanchez with today's news. But first, let's all stand and join Fernando Rodriguez for the Pledge of Allegiance. Fernando? Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated now. Back to <coughs> anchor. Awesome job, Fernando. Now let's check in with Colton Jackson in the WPKN Weather Center with a look at today's forecast. Colton? Good morning, Pioneers. Today's weather will be scattered thunderstorms with a 39% chance of rain. The wind will be blowing out of the, out of the north at 4 miles per hour. The high today will be 88 with a low of 96, 97, 90, 69. Have a great day. Now back to our anchor. Great job, Colton. For lunch today, our fabulous Romeo chefs have prepared a choice of cheese pizza or a wild butter sandwich with carrots, carrots and fresh fruit. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now it's time for today's Pioneer Minutes with Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams for today's school announcements. Take it away, Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams. Good morning, Romeo. Good morning, Ms. Williams. Good morning, Ms. Parker. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I like that picture. All right. Um, it is going to be a fantastic Friday. I have a new challenge for you guys from Matt Manatee. But in the meantime, let's celebrate those buses. Look at all the buses staying on today. 3026, 3025, 3031, 3024, 3005, 3029, and 3035. Fantastic job. Now, Ms. Parker, we're going to keep a record next week of the buses that get to stay on all week long. Oh, I can't wait. That I love celebrating students and I love celebrating our wonderful <laughs> staff. You know, our school related person of the year is Mrs. Torres. Um, and I believe she's substituting in Mr. Franz's class this morning. So y'all give her a great big round of applause there in Mrs. Fra Mr. Franz's class. If you work with Ms. Por Torres during the day, don't forget to congratulate her for being our school related person of the year. And we have another person who will be celebrated tonight at the University of Florida who is going to be inducted to the University of Florida Gator Hall of Fame. Now, this is a really big deal. I can't do that. But I am going to cheer for the Gators on Saturday, despite the fact that I went to the University of Georgia, because one of our amazing staff members is going to be recognized and inducted into the Gator Hall of Fame, and that is Mrs. Fleming, our guidance counselor. So when you see her today, make sure that you congratulate her. This is an amazing honor. And she is being inducted into the Hall of Fame for her amazing career swimming for the University of Florida. Do you know she set a world record and was a world champion while swimming with the Gators, among many, many, many other honors and accolades that she won while she was there. She's super humble, so she won't be real happy that I'm putting this out there. But hey, guys, when you see Miss Fleming today, please make sure that you give her a, a Gator, Gator chomp. chomp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and congratulate her because that is a pretty amazing accomplishment. And just to let you know how amazing that is, do you know who else is going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame on the same day? I do. Go ahead. Mr. Tim Tebow. That's right. Right up there with Tim Tebow is our very own Mrs. Fleming. That is how big her accomplishments were in the field of swimming. Mrs. Williams, what do you know? I know that we have a late bus teacher, so hold off for the announcement before you take attendance. This is the last day for QSMA testing for makeups. If you have any concerns, problems, make sure you reach out. Today's the day. Boys and girls, finish strong. If you're in that group, do your very best. And we also have an example of students being very considerate. Miss Munoz in the cafeteria wanted to point out that Every bus yesterday came in orderly. They were considerate of their, their peers. They were using quiet voices, standing in a manner that was safe. 
And I just wanted to say good job, boys and girls, for being considerate of others' feelings. Fantastic. That is an amazing accomplishment. Consideration is not always easy to give, especially when nobody's looking. That also demonstrates integrity, which we will talk about another time. But congratulations for following those Romeo expectations in the cafeteria in the morning. I have a challenge for you students from Matt Manatee. Matt Manatee says, hi, friends. I really enjoyed reading your letters about your favorite games and sports. Believe it or not, Halloween is coming up soon. What costume would you like to try this year? What is your favorite Halloween tradition? Matt Manatee wants to hear from you boys and girls about your favorite Halloween costume and or your favorite Halloween tradition. Or you can write a joke or draw a picture. Remember, these are due to Mr. McLean in the Media Center by October 15th. And uh, that, I believe, is that today it is next Friday. Thursday, right? Friday. Next Friday. They're due next Friday by 2 o'clock to Mr. McLean. Please make sure you put your full name, that is first name and last name, your school, Romeo Elementary, and the grade level on your paper, whether it's a drawing, a joke, or answering the question about your favorite Halloween costume or tradition. Anything else you know, Ms. Williams? Nothing. All right, let's talk about some words of wisdom on this fantastic Friday. And by the way, thank you for those students in Miss Whitten Library's class yesterday who reminded me that it was Thursday and not Wednesday, like I said it was. Anyway, on this fantastic Friday, when you imagine the pioneer woman, what do you see? Do you see a woman cutting a covered wagon or a log cabin in the wilderness? Well, guess right. Guess what? Right now, there are pioneer women. Women who are exploring new frontiers, breaking new ground. Women like Ellen Ochoa, the first Hispanic woman to become an astronaut. Listen to what Miss Ochoa says to students about success. If you stay in school, you have the potential to achieve what you want in the future. In other words, if you stay in school and get a good education, you are much more likely to make your dreams come true, whether your dream is to become an astronaut or a police officer or a director, a, a doctor, or a chef. You can make your life a big success, so be cool and stay in school. With something to think about on this fantastic Picture Friday, make it a great day, Romeo. The choice is yours. Thank you, Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams. Well, that's all for today, Pioneers. Thanks for joining us this morning. Be sure to tune in again Tuesday for the news that kids can count on to start their day. I'm Nayeli Sanchez. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now. It's Friday!